So, Arsenal lost 2-1 yesterday to a Chelsea team who are not in great form, although their form, if they do have any, has been mostly away from home. Um, we went 1-0 up um, through a Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang goal. It was a lovely diving header, um, which was set up by Callum Chambers, who's not soon after had to leave the pitch through injury. Uh, at that point there, we still we still had um we still had good possession. We were playing good football. The energy was 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 something I've not seen in a while. In in a long long while. Energy, enthusiasm, which tells me a lot about what's going on uh, under the under the reign of uh, Arteta. It tells me that they're buying into the project, they're buying into the philosophy. And it's it's encouraging signs. Um, we went uh, at half time. We were one nil up, and it was just more hope that we'd come out in the second half um, firing all cylinders because we didn't take our chances, which was the problem. And which against the Chelsea side is is worrying um, because you don't get many chances usually against these top sides, and when you do, you need to take your chances. Otherwise, you're going to rue them later on. Second half, we didn't come out with as much energy, but we still held strong. We still um, managed to stifle their attacks, and it didn't really have much going on. A, a, a bad mistake from Leno. He's got underneath the ball. He looked like he, he looked like he jumped out with his eyes shut. To be honest, um, and and it's dropped to Jorginho's foot and to an open empty net. Um, that was about the 80th minute, I think it was. Um, and then Tammy Abraham drops his shoulder, sends Squadron Mustafi into next week, turns and scores a goal for the winner. Um, it was absolutely gutting yesterday because I felt we deserved more out of the game, especially... Um, as we had the majority of possession for 60 minutes, the majority of the play for 60 minutes. But you, you've got to take your chances there. Lacazette was wasteful in front of goal. Wasteful. Um, it would have been nice to see Pepe come in a bit earlier um, because Lac Lacazette weren't doing it. Um, Ozil was unbelievable yesterday. It's good to see him back uh, to what is coming up to near his best. He's looking confident. And and that's what I want to see more of. Our best players getting on the pitch and playing at the best of their ability and the, and, and the best of what they can do. Now, people talk about the energy of Ozil and him not putting in a shift. He puts in a shift. He put in a shift yesterday. When the team's playing well, he's playing well. When he's playing well, the team's playing well. Um, Abamyang, oh my gosh. I've never seen someone track back so much and work so hard from up front it was it was it was unbelievable but part of that is down to him having to cover for an inexperienced Saka who I've heard some people say Saka had a good game and he had so and so in his pocket but I don't think he did I think it was if not for Pierre uh, for Aubameyang covering I think um, Saka would have been found out so it looks like that's something we've got to do and sort out in January and bring in a replacement um, some can put down uh, inexperience and tactical change, ta lack of tactical nous from uh, Arteta. But I don't think that's a case. I don't think Arteta is a kind of person that lack that lacks tactical nous in in certain situations. I don't think that's the case. The philosophy and the ethos of the way that he wants to play is is high press, energetic. Now, if you've been used to a much slower game, slower pace, and you've got to admit, under Emery, the pace was slow. There was no pace. There was no pace. It was there was no pace. It was slow build up with Emery. So if you've been doing that for a year and a half, and now you've got to go to high energetic, um, high intensity for however long, forget about what Man City do. This is the way we play. If we want, if he wants to go to that, it's going to take time. He hasn't had a pre-season to get them players up to scratch to do that. And now, think what he could do with a pre-season under his belt. It's going to take about four or five weeks 
to get him up to scratch fitness. He might have to do extra fitness. You see, watch little things that he does. Taking them down to the ground to do their training uh, because because he knows that our home form hasn't been great. Things, little things like that, little minor details like that should show you that this guy is it's 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 about longevity. It's about longevity with this guy. Um, people say we should have got Ancelotti. People say we should have got Mourinho. But with them, it's, it's, it's short term. People talk about Rafa Benitez. It's short term. You take them guys here, yeah, you've got two, two, three years max. And then what? You start again. You start again with a new philosophy. No, Arsenal, Arsenal are a team. That I know people say that's not the way things go. But who said that? who says that has to be the way? Who says that has to be the way that every three years you get a new manager? To keep things fresh. No, you change you change it by new backroom staff, new ideas. Right? If you could have Pep Guardiola for 10 years, what, you're going to turn around to me and t- say, no, 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 we're on a three-year plan. Get something new, freshen up. It's not the way it works. And with Arsenal, I don't think that's the way they want to go. I think they want longevity with, with Arteta. I think they see that he's going to take us in a new direction. Uh, something that is attacking something that is entertaining to watch and something that will eventually will win things. It, 100%, it's the only way I can see it going because every sign, everything I'm hearing is just good. Now, there's going to be these little blips. Let's not forget it's Chelsea. You can talk about form, but it's Chelsea. So, I think people need to just relax on it. Really do. I'm seeing stupid, dumb videos like like... Like, I told you so videos. It's, it's the second game. It's the second game. Like, are you, are you here to support? Because it doesn't feel like people are. It feels like people want one up. People want to be the first ones to say something. Well, that's not... That's not that's, this, is, this is why people laugh at us, man. This is why we're the banter club. Because of people like that. People like you. That feel like the need to to scrutinise and sit there and wait for us to, to 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 fail, so that you can stand up and say you was right. Well, you will never be right. You'll never be right, and especially in this case, it's not going to happen. Yeah, it was a blip against Chelsea, but like I said, this is Chelsea, and we'd 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 love to be in the position that Chelsea are at the moment. They're in the Champions League next phase. They're sitting pretty in the league at the moment. So what makes you think that we should we should we should have been rolling over them anyway? And as you could see from from where we were in the first half and up to the 80th minute, we were there and thereabouts. So how far is it? How far are we away from t- turning this into a victory? Because if Lacazette takes a chance early doors in the second in the first half, we're two 0 up. That's a that's a big steep mountain to climb. So at small margins in football, and yesterday we didn't take ours. But but it's a th- the only thing is it's May United next week. So so like bare minimum we've got to get a draw. We bare minimum, and it, we, I'd like to say we are going to win. We need to win, but look, bare minimum we've got to take a draw from that and. And look to get points in the next game, which I think is uh, Crystal Palace. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we need to fix up, but we also need to back and stop stop trying to snipe at each other, people. Well, I'm, 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 people were cynical. That's fine. We, we all, there's always a worry when you come in with an ex, inexperienced manager. But people that are out there saying, I'm not backing this, I'm not backing that, just go. We, we don't need you in our fan base. You're, you're kind of embarrassing. But on that note, come on, Mikel Arteta. We're backing you. you got this. Come on, Arsenal. Get three points at Man United.